as an art critic, as an art reviewer, as a writer for an audience, I want to be able to convey a sense of that exhibit as a medium. How does it work? Because you have a lot of people working hard to make this exhibit happen. It's not just the artist. In terms of what goes into a review, there, there are just some basics that you've got to get out there. You know, the name of it, where it is, and how long it's going to be up. After that, I think it's really up to the critic. I don't think that there's anything that you have to absolutely have in there. It's often useful to compare and contrast a couple of works. And if you do nothing else, that's probably uh, just a good thing to keep in mind, a, a device as much as anything. The installation of an exhibition is itself a medium. And all that occurs here. We have the art, which is one act of creativity. We have the selection of the art. Then we have the installation of the art. And something that you can't change a lot is the space. And then there's you and me. And here we are looking at the exhibit. And we're going to bring our realities to it. Why did somebody take the time to do this? Wonder why. What are they trying to say? What do I think they're trying to say? Don't necessarily pick something just because it appeals to you. Be smart. Pick something that you can write about, that has enough going on in it that you can say something. And all of a sudden, when you start doing that, you start recognizing that not all art is equal. That some art is kind of eye candy. It's very attractive, and what can you say? Gee, that was pretty. And it's blue, and it was square. And then there are other things that might not be pretty are conventionally beautiful, but they have a beautiful engagement. They allow you to have a dialogue with them and to give that dialogue in writing to someone else. It's important in dealing with art to read a lot, to listen to a lot, to simply be aware and, and you know, it's, art is part of the entire world. Art comes out of such a huge collective to which we all belong that it is the critic's responsibility to be engaged as much as possible with the broadest cultural world.